You know, Mark, Lindsay Zier of Sherborne, Massachusetts, wrote and asked to spend the day with our very own Carrie. So Carrie went to Massachusetts and spent the day with Lindsay in and around Boston checking out the sites. Hey, I'm Carrie. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Lindsay. Boston is so cool. I know. It's a really cool place. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Let's go. When I first met Carrie, I didn't really know what to expect. I was really excited because she seems like a really cool person, like on the show and everything. But it was really cool to meet her personally. Lindsay had a really ambitious day planned for us. We started at the Museum of Science where we learned and laughed a lot. <laughs> Carrie and I got a chance to get, you know, personal and get to talk a little bit. The machine tool place is definitely the best exhibit in the whole museum. Oh, yeah. Check out that five horsepower motor. Huh. I love this place. Not. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the next exhibit reminded me of a movie I seem to remember. What a shame. Another friend lost in the museum. Oh, well. See you later, Carrie. Wait. wait. We started getting kind of hungry, so we headed over to Quincy Market to grab some lunch. Quincy Market was really cool to hang out with Carrie because it's a place where you can really interact with people and get a chance to sort of blend in with how Boston, what Boston really is and what it's like. Oh, I'm sorry. This place is wild. Want to eat here? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Durgan Park is a restaurant that originally started in the 1800s, and they were known for their rude waitresses. Yes, what's the difference between the tenderloin and sirloin? Now, what does she say up here? What do we specialize in? Prime rib. Why would you order a steak? Well, Mary, the waitress, was sort of playing jokes on us, and she was pretending to be really mean, but she was really nice. After eating a huge lunch, Lindsay and I worked it off by checking out the rest of the Quincy Market. That's cute, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was really cool when Carrie took me to the lefty store, and it made me feel kind of cool, you know. She was thinking of me. Lindsay's a lefty, so we had to stop here. <laughs> Beautiful. Shopping. But it's so tiring. We were both worn out from all the walking, so we took a break and talked a little about the mouse club and some other stuff. What do you like to do most in the club? My favorite thing would probably be doing filming music videos because it's like really fast paced and it's set to music and that's one of my favorite things. What kind of music do you listen to? Um, I listen to all kinds of music. Um, I have such a big variety. I listen to pop, to country, to R&B, really a lot of R&B. What do you like to do when you're not working? When I'm not working, um, I usually hang out with other kids in the club, go to a movie or you'll find me at the beach a lot. Um, just normal teenage stuff, shopping. What do you look for in a guy? What do I look for in a guy? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I look for someone who, who has an individual personality, you know. Um, they have to know who they are, you know, and they have to be honest and just fun to be around, you know, good sense of humor. This area of Boston is called Beacon Hill. It's really cool because, like, all these buildings are built in the 1800s. The architecture is incredible. LeJay meant a lot to me because I got a chance to hang out with somebody who was really cool and who I could really relate to, and I'm glad that I found a real good friend. Hi. <laughs> if you'd like to spend a day with one of the Musketeers, write to us at Mouse in the House, Mickey Mouse Club, Disney MGM Studios, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. Be sure to include your name, address, and phone number.